girl Agubai Neek and I'm back with another video and today I want to talk to you guys about master recordings. Who owns your masters and how the record labels end up owning your masters, okay? So right here what you're looking at is my Pro Tools session. This will be considered a master or the session file for my song. Whoever has these session files actually owns the song because they are able to go in and make copies of the song, make, you know, edit the song. Uh, they can do basically do whatever they want to do with the song. And nine times out of ten, these session files are stored on hard drives. Now, right here, what you guys are seeing this is an incomplete session, and the reason why it's an incomplete session is because I'm recording over a stereo track. So I'm actually recording to the beat. I haven't actually um, uh, uploaded the stems to the beat into the session, um, but I do have the stems to my beats. The stems basically look exactly like these tracks right here, but it's just like the hi-hats and the kicks and all these different things tracked out into um, different uh, different files, different folders, so that you can be able to edit those individually. So um, basically, uh, this video is about um, how the labels end up owning your master files. So when you sign a deal um, with a label, they actually um, say that they are going to recover. They are going to cover recording costs, and whomever pays for recording costs technically is entitled to the master, unless you work it out with the label or whatever whoever you're doing the situation with that they will um, split the master recording with you. Um, that's who owns the master, and so. The royalties that are generated from your master recordings, I'm going to tell you guys. So the first one is the royalties generated from your distro kit or your distribution. So when your music is on Spotify, um, uh, like when you distribute it independently, you have a distro kit account or a United Masters account. That's money generated from your master recording. And then you also have Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange also is a place where you are generating money for your master, for your sound recording. So if you guys want to learn more about generating revenue from your sound recordings, um, make sure you download a copy of my book. The link is in the description. I show you guys how to generate money from your lyrics, from your sound recordings, and literally from all aspects of your music so that you understand um, what type of ownership you are giving up when you go and you sign with these labels. So if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new videos, new content. Make sure you join me live every Monday, 2 p.m., Music Mondays, answering questions. You know, let you guys pick my brain. So you already know what it is. It's your girl. I go by Nick. I'm trying to help you get paid, not played, baby.